Yo, what's up guys? In my last video, I took one of the logos that I had made in a previous video and I made a webcam border. Well, today we're gonna be continuing that branding as we go and we make our just chatting scene. So we're gonna be using the elements from the last video. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go and watch it and then come back to this one. We're gonna use those elements to build a just chatting scene that feels professional, and pretty much ready to go. And I'll show you how to set it up in OBS at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. I'm here to help you level up your stream on a budget. From simple tips to pro hacks, I've got you covered. Let's go. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start here in Canva. We're gonna be using our previous branding. So you'll see I already have my logo here uh, with my logo emblem. Also have my webcam border that we made in the last video. Again, if you haven't seen that one, make sure you reference back. Now that we're in Canva, we will be needing a pro account. If you don't already have a pro account, go down into the description and use my 30 day free trial. In the next 30 days, build out everything that you need for your stream using my videos. I have videos to do literally everything that you'd wanna do on your your stream use those and then decide for yourself if you want to keep the 30 day or if you want to keep canva pro after that okay so now that we're here i'm gonna like i said i'm going to be reusing all of my branding once i have a good brand built i really want to keep those visual elements going and so i already have my webcam frame and i think as i'm building out a just chatting scene i just want to reuse pretty much all of it so i'm just gonna actually copy all of it Control c to copy go right here and Control v just like that. An easier way we could have done this, by the way, is we could have just as easily hit this little plus button right there and just copied the whole thing. But what fun is that, right? And so I, one thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and use this square that's here, and I just wanna use it as the border of our entire window. So one thing I've gotta change is how I'm actually thinking about this. So let me do what we did in the last video. Let me bring over an image over here on the left. We can go to photos. I can type in streamer and find one, but I'll just use the same image we used last time, which is this one right here. I'm gonna right click and set it as the background. So now I kind of have a reference to what my camera is gonna look like. Yeah, right, I wish my camera quality was this good, but I have a rough estimate, right? So now that I'm kind of looking at it, I've made the border. I like the gold, it's bringing in branding elements. It's bringing in my colors. And so I think I'm just gonna keep these in the corners. I think look really good and and they keep some like cohesiveness, just like this, if we can position it right, there we go. Cohesiveness for when we switch to this, to our cam scene, it all looks the same. Kinda as I'm looking over it, I might wanna use this logo still. Yeah, I have it grouped and size it down just a little bit more. And maybe see if I can fit it right here in a way that feels nice still. It'll zoom in, something like this, you know, uh, or maybe not. Let's let's zoom out and see how how it looks and feels. Does it actually? It, I don't think. I feel. I think it feels a little crowded. So I'm going to delete that out of there. We're not going to use that. What we will use though, we'll use this box. I'm going to select everything and do that. Deselect the box. For now, I'm just going to delete all that out. Bring the box up. Holding down Shift. Then I want to use my logo here. I'm just going to select the whole logo. Control C. Come down here. Control V to paste. Just like this. I'm gonna lock this back here so that it quits moving around on me. There we go. Now I can select what I need to. This, I'm gonna select it all so I can size it down together. Now line this here. Again, you probably wanna do this with your logo because you might already have a vertical version of your logo. I do not. So now I'm gonna put it here and here I'll adjust my size so that it kind of fits up here. Now, I've gotta decide what color I want this to be. I don't think I want it to be gold. Gold actually, it looks very good, but let's try it white and then go to position and send it to the back behind that and then we'll size it in to fit our name you know what as i'm looking at it i think i like it a little more as gold so let's go ahead and make the changes that we need to so i'm going to select it uh it's selecting this one so we're going to hold down control and select it behind it gold now i think the black text is fine so let's go into our in mark here and make our changes to it so i think we'll keep the in as black but we're going to make the chest piece that we have white and then there is a white piece behind it that's kind of cutting out a piece of the in, and I want to get to it and make it gold. So I'm going to click my position, go here to layers, find that it's this one right here, you can see it's already highlighted. Now I can make it gold. So it kind of disappears, right? And then there is a, very hard to see, but I can see it because I made the logo and I remember it. You see the little black corners right there. I want those to be gone as well. I want those to be gold as well. So I click right there. I think that's it. Back to layers, see if I can find it. Where is it? Is it hidden? Oh, I don't have a piece there. That's the problem. In my previous logo video, I'd put a piece there and I must have lost it in some of my copy and paste. Not a problem. We will go over here to elements, grab a new square. We think we're too zoomed in. Yes, we are. We're going to size it. 
Then we'll zoom back in. Very, very small. We can click right here to drag and move it. Something just like that. Then position and make sure I have it behind my chest piece. Just like that. There we go. I can see that it is now removed. Let's zoom back out to about 100% or more. There we go. But if I'm being completely honest, I would call this done. I think this is very good. It's very clean. You really don't need too much going on in your just chatting scene. It's really you with the people. Like, look at my just chatting scene right here. Like as far as branding elements, yes, I have my stream pet here, uh, Dr. Chills, he'd be chilling like he normally does. And then I have kind of this little bar down here and I have you know some little healing icons over here, which are kind of lost. And then I do have this up here, which by the way, I have videos on this and I have video on Dr. Chills. So if you wanna see that, go back to the channel, find out how to do these. Uh, all those videos are already out there, but really in your just chatting scene, you want it to be you just chatting. With the people you don't need a whole lot of other things going on and so really i think the simplistic design that we have for the night flare design i think works very very well let's go ahead and we are going to export this and put it into obs and so one thing i need to do is reach all the way to the back if i can get to it and delete out that back picture now if you want to know how to click past something like i just did there if i click once it's going to select my topmost layer which is my gold border but if you hold down control it'll click select the layer behind it so little canva hack there for you now i'm going to hit share i'm going to hit download i want it to be a transparent png transparent remember you have to have pro what that little thing over there beside my head means we want it to be transparent we do not want all pages i'm going to deselect that i will clear all pages and then i just want to download page so hit page three, hit done, hit download. Now, as that's downloading, I'm gonna go and open up my OBS that I use for tutorials. And this is the scene we used last time to create this cam order. Again, if you haven't watched that video, go find it. But we're gonna go and delete pretty much everything except my face, because we still need my face in here. So let's go ahead, this is OBS. This is just a capture from my other one. And we are going to select and press delete. Now I'm gonna make me full screen. I'm gonna hold alt. I can see that I've cropped some off of this image, so. We will hold alt and decrop it, decrop, uncrop, I don't know. Then from here, we're gonna hit plus. We're gonna to go to image, image two, that's fine. Click okay, hit browse. We're gonna find that image that we just downloaded. This is it right here, click okay, and we're done. That's it. Oh no, I left the little piece in there. No, we have failed. Oh well, that's it. Delete, make sure, just make sure your stuff's good before you export it, but here we are. We're all done. Nightflare now has a just chatting scene. So there we go. We have this part of the Nightflare branding done. If you want to see the next part where we're going to create the starting soon and the be right back scenes, which would be the final pieces of this branding, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch where I stream three days a week, pretty late at night. So if you are a night owl, come out and hang out with me on stream. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.